how do you even find out that you were the best overall student for the whole West Africa? It was just after lectures. I was tired. I was resting. And so I didn't even see it. I didn't even see it. So later in the evening, Aram called me. And Aram was like, yo, Alex, the awards have come more. And you were first. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, I don't believe it. You should stop playing with me. Wow. Yeah. But it was, true. it was true. I was so happy. I was so happy. And what made me really happy was the fact that I was also going with him. It really... It really made me happy. We've we've been through a lot together. In the Pesco game, the riddle got you pull the win. How how did you pull get the question, relax, and then answer that question? <laughs> the last round was very interesting because as soon as we started, Pesco rang and won and sorry and got a riddle correct five points on the first clue. It was like wow, yeah. But we quickly organized ourselves. I was like, Iram, the next question that will come, it will be a Latin word. Then it was like, wow. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> so we waited patiently. Then on the second riddle, sorry, second clue, he rang. And the answer was vast difference. And he got it correct. So we had managed to silence the, the St. Peter's guys because actually when they got the first one correct, they thought, oh, they had silence. They yeah. <laughs> yeah. Isaac Newton had a lot to say about me. Yes, St. Peter's. False. That is correct. Five points. So we continue. I am part of the male reproductive system. My name comes from Latin words which literally mean carrying away vessel. Yes, St. James. The vast difference. That is correct. Hi, guys, and welcome back to our channel again. And Today, we are bringing you another interview of your favorite NSMQ contestants. And as you can see today, we are having a special person here. We have the overall WASI 2022 best student with us. In no other person but Alex. Alex, you are welcome. Thank you very much. <laughs> How has life been? Life has been great and very interesting. Okay, so those who don't know, he was the co-contestant for uh, St. James Seminary SHS who uh, sat on the same stage with Benjamin Aram. We've already interviewed Benjamin, so you can check the channel for that particular interview. So, uh, how has life been on Tech Campus? Life on Tech Campus has been very great, interesting. I've met a lot of new people. I've made a lot of friends, yes. And on the whole, God has been very good to me. Wow, wow. Well, I like that. And also, after the LSMQ, have you become a star now? Because maybe when people see you on campus, do they say, hey, Alex, LSMQ? Do you get that kind of reactions? Yeah, I've gotten a few reactions and it comes with a lot of attention, but yeah. So are you enjoying it? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, yeah enjoying it. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. In a nutshell, who is Alex? Okay, I'm Alex Opokumenu. I'm a student at KUST Medical School. I'm quite reserved. Yeah. And many times, a lot of people tell me that I'm too serious. But when you get to know me, you realize I'm very friendly and jovial. I was about to ask you that question because I felt you are full with humor. I wasn't expecting that because of what we see on stage. Because on stage, you are very reserved. I know Benjamin to be the sanguine type. So tell us a bit about your family, your GHS. Okay, so I'm the firstborn of a family of four. Yeah, we live in Sunyani. And my dad is a pastor. Yeah, and then I attended primary school at Oasis Christian Academy in Kumasi, but later we left. So my dad was transferred to Sunyani, so I fedded at Holy Spirit School. So you're in the same school with Benjamin? Yes, please. He was my <laughs> So what are some of the fun moments you remember from your GHS? Um, in GHS, we used to compete a lot. Yeah, and we had a lot of fun. Sometimes he celebrated his birthday. Um, we did a lot of interesting things together, yeah. That's good. Okay, so right now that you are in this university, what are your future dreams and then what program are you pursuing in uh, the university now? And also the, the university you are in now? Okay. Okay, I'm currently in Kenya University and I'm currently offering medicine. Okay. Yeah. Um, Only medicine? Because I think there are some specialists, medicine with surgery or something, I don't know. Oh, for now I'm just doing the general thing, so okay. for now I'm just doing medicine. Okay. Yeah, and I would like to really contribute to my society um, and help me garner a better place. So this will not be the end for me. 
I actually plan to pursue an MBA and if possible also do law. Yes, so that it will widen my scope and I'll gain a lot of experience. Oh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, so you have siblings and then maybe profession of your parents or something like that. Okay, so yeah, I have three siblings, a brother and two sisters. Oh, you can give a shout out to them. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Ishra, shout out to Gloria, shout out to Nyameba. Okay, yeah. Your profession of your parents. So my dad is a pastor, as I said, wow. and my mom is a chartered accountant. Oh, okay. Yes, please. So I can see your upbringing started from the home. Your morals, how has morals and things been in the house? Oh, see, as I said, my dad is a pastor, so he's very strict. Um, but I think it has helped me because um, in life, sometimes you need to have a certain moral framework on which you base all your actions and decisions. So it has really helped me a lot. Um, I remember when we were young, sometimes he used to restrict us a bit. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, can attest, I can attest to that fact. Being in the pastor's home, dear. <laughs> yeah, but it has really helped me. It has helped me. Yes, That's good. Because the Bible says that train up your child in the way of the Lord, and when he grows up, he will never depart away from it. So, now, this is a very tricky question that we always ask our NSMQ contestant. Did any NSMQ lady catch your eye? And if yes, which school did she represent? Okay, no, not really. No one really caught my eye because, um, first of all, I was too busy and my attention was on winning all my content, so I couldn't afford to be distracted. And secondly, to you see, for a year, most of the girls' schools went out in the 1 8 stage, so from the quarterfinals, it was mostly the boys, so not really, not really. So, book long, book long. <laughs> <laughs> but I hope on Tech Campus you you spotted a particular lady like Oh no. no. Hey, are you sure? Yes, please. <laughs> How was your life on St. James Seminary SHS like the science class you were in and the particular house you were in? Okay. St. James was a great place. Um I met a lot of people, made friends, and it was it was actually a very nice experience. The school is a seminary, so it's very strict. Yeah, but it was very great, very, very great. A lot of experiences that... Share, share some with us, share some with us. Uh, I remember one time when we were in Form 1, okay. we were new, and then one of my friends was now coming to school, and I was so happy to see him, so we were making noise. Then all of a sudden, a teacher just came in and was like, we're making noise, so he punished us. Oh. Yeah, we were, <laughs> we were just in Form 1. Yeah, and so it's, it's very, very, the place is very, very strict. We weed, oh, the experience is just... It's a bit tough, but you get used to it. Let me, let me check your palm. <laughs> your science class and then your particular house. Okay, I was in C1 together with Aram. Okay. Yes, and then I was in St. Thomas Aquinas house. Okay. St. Thomas Aquinas house. So why is St. James Seminary so good in the WASI? Because you were the overall best student for WASI, the whole West Africa. Tell us the secret for St. James Seminary SHS. Okay, um, I think it's because... In St. James, we get a lot of attention. You see, teachers come to class to teach, and they are efficient monitoring systems. Yeah. And then there are also some extra intervention that the school puts in place to help us. For instance, as we are about to write YC, um, we used to prep for longer hours, and they organize extra classes for students who had problems. So I think it really goes a long way to help us, yeah, because we get extra attention. So the bottom line is extra attention because people are few. Yes, please. And also, as you said, straightness in the school. Yes, the place is very disciplined. Okay. So walk us through the moment when you heard that, or how do you even find out that you were the best overall student for the whole West Africa? Walk us through the moment, uh, the ceremony, and how you felt. I was so surprised. Like, I was so surprised. I never expected it. And even how the news was, was given to me, because um, I received a call from my father, um, our rector, sorry, Father Hubert, one day, um, it was just after lectures, I was tired, I was resting. And so I didn't even see it. I didn't even see it. So later in the evening, Aram called me. And Aram was like, you Alex, the awards have come home, and you were first. I was like, what? I was like, I don't believe it. You should stop playing with me. Wow. Yeah, but it was, true. it was true. I was so happy. I was so happy. And what made me really happy was the fact that I was also going with him. It really, it really made me happy. We've, we've been through a lot together, so... Yeah, the ceremony was great. I met a lot of um, important people, prominent people. Um, I met the president of Gambia. Yeah, I had the opportunity to give a speech before all the 
dignitaries present. Wow. It, was, it was very, very great. Very great. Yes. And also, did they give you money? Oh, yes, please. I'll come for my share. And then viewers, if you want your share, you let me know. We'll take some share from uh, Alex and we'll do a giveaway. What do you think? Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Alex will do a giveaway to the channel. So stay tuned. Subscribe. Subscribe. And also, you put with the uh, Bono Regional Champions, right? Walk us through the moment. Did you expect it? Oh, actually, going into the contest, we actually expected to win. But I must say, it was one of the toughest contests in my NSMQ journey. Both regionals and nationals? Yes, please. Wow. Um, this, must, this might come as a surprise to most people. Yeah, but you see, sometimes when you are going into something and you have so much confidence and it's not going your way, it can really change things and you have to really organize yourself and come back again. So yes, when we began the contest, oh, it was going on well. Um, I still think that there are some questions we answered which should have been given to us but on the whole the first round was great then coming to the second round and then things took a bad thing we started getting a lot of questions wrong and we 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 we, we got so many questions wrong and because of that we were a bit down at the moment because even i remember i was answering one question and my voice was so shaky <laughs> yeah but we still got it wrong wow. yeah but we really had to organize ourselves and come back. So going into the true or false, we managed to get all correct. And then it, we reached the, um, the final round. So we won with the last freedom. Oh, okay. okay, that's cool. And what was the reception back at home like? The reception was great. It was great. Like I must say, it was overwhelming because it was the first time we had done that. We had broken a record. Yeah, and um, actually it helped those that we are parents and our school to have the confidence in us that as we're going to the nationals we could do something that's admirable what would you tell any young person or a parent who wants their child to come to uh, st james seminary SHS? what are some of the requirements and what should a person do to get your school because it will be difficult to get in st james seminary so what should a person do okay I'd, I'd, I'd encourage everyone who wants to come to st james to come there because the place is a great place you are going to get teachers coming to teach you. You are going to get a lot of attention. Um, yeah, the place is very disciplined. Yes, you are going to meet a lot of new people. And I think at the end of the day, you receive a good moral training. Yeah, And you just have to do well in your BEC and, and that's all. So if you are writing your BEC, just take it seriously. Take your book seriously. And when you score, and you choose St. James Seminary HSS, you might also find yourself in the position of Alex and also representing St. James Seminary HSS. Oh. <laughs> now we are coming to the Nationals. Let's talk about the PESCO contest. Were you guys expecting to eliminate PESCO? Of course, no one goes into a contest expecting to lose. Yes, so we were actually expecting to win. Yes, it was, one, it was my favorite contest. It was actually my favorite contest because it was full of mixed feelings <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah because if it comes into that contest uh, they had won the shark squeeze right yes, please. Uh, with their other guy set on them yes, please. so the day before what was the feeling like and also preparations by all standards pesco is a very good school set on was a very good guy yeah but you see sometimes you you need to you need to believe in yourself you need to believe in yourself and you need to psych yourself because at the end of the day we've all prepared for this so we are all coming to showcase you understand so we we told ourselves that we can do it and indeed we did it i like i like what you said you have to believe in yourself even though maybe the uh, situation you will find yourself in will look as if it's a giant when you believe in yourself everything is possible that you can overcome so the underlying word is that believe in yourself so if you are watching us and you are going through a lot just believe that you will come out of that situation in the pesco game the uh, last time that was the riddle in the pesco game the riddle got you pulled there uh win how how did you pull, get the question relax and then answer that question <laughs> the last round was very interesting because as soon as we started pesco rang and won and sorry and got a riddle correct five points on the first clue it was like wow yeah but we quickly organized ourselves i was like iram the next question that will come it will be a latin word then it was like, wow yeah i told you <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Felix, you're just Felix. Wow. Yeah, it would be a Latin word. So we waited patiently. Then on the second riddle, sorry, second clue he rang. 
And the answer was vast difference, and he got it correct. So we had managed to silence the uh, St. Peter's guys because actually when they got the first one correct, they thought, oh, they had silence. They yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So then the, the, the other school took the third one. Okay. Yes. So the decider was going to be the last riddle. Mm. And then they quickly rang again and they got it wrong. And I just put my head on the table. I was like, finally, finally. finally. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, Iram, we shouldn't answer this one. So the whole time I wasn't even paying attention, but he rang and he answered it. Hey, Ram, you don't hear. Hey, Ram. <laughs> Everyone wanted to kill the contest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's actually good he did it. We won the uh, highest score of the day award because of that. Wow, you see. Yeah. So money came. <laughs> yeah. Ah, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. okay. I know there are a lot of great NSMQ contestants, but to you, I want you to give me four of your favorites, four greatest of all time. Pay your opinion. Not any other person's opinion. Pay your opinion. Four NSMQ greats. Okay. My first one would be Eden. He was super fast. Yeah. I really admired him a lot. Then um, I think my next choice would be Gakpeto. Gakpeto. Yes. Then Michael Obin from Pesco. Yes. 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 Then lastly, Imbebo from Adisadel. You chose the same thing as Ariel. <laughs> 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 hey, you were thinking, I like, you were thinking. Okay. So Eden, Gakpeto, uh, Joseph. Michael Obin. Michael Obin, sorry. And then uh, Imbebo. So now tell us, have you always dreamed of being in the NSMQ since childhood? Yes. I first saw NSMQ on TV. I think GTV. Those days, they used to show it only on GTV. Yeah, GTV. Yes. And I watched some of the schools and I was really impressed. So I was like, wherever I go to SHS, I'll make sure I make my mark there. Wow. So immediately you went to St. James Seminary, SHS. So how did you get to know or what were the procedures of joining the, the quiz team and all that so that anyone who goes to form one will know what to do? Okay, in St. James Seminary, usually you write a series of tests and they organize an interclass quiz okay. to pick the best students to take part in the quiz. Form form one? It's usually in form two. Form two. That's form two? Yes, please. Okay. Yes, please. So when you did it, how many people came up on top and to join the quiz team? Um, For a time, it was actually the beginning of the system. They were now actually starting so we were like i think eight yeah we were about eight okay. so during your trial contest were you only contesting the various contests with aram um when we first began we i used to do it with the others but as the time drew nearer we wanted to actually familiarize ourselves with each other so it was mostly the two of us and the third contestant <laughs> Sure, sure. And what's the third contestant? His name is Elvis. Elvis. Give him a shout out. Give him a shout, shout out. Shout out to Elvis. Elvis. <laughs> Elvis, wherever you are, shout out. Where, where is he now? Oh, he's here. He's here. Ah, he's in tech. Okay. We should have invited him. The next time I'll be here, I'll call him over. Okay. So how was preparations for St. James Seminary SHS quiz team like? No holidays, restrictions that NSMQ students face and all that. Tell us about it. Oh, okay. You see, the NSMQ requires you to put in extra effort. So... There were a few, I won't call them restrictions. We were just working hard mm. so that we would come out victorious. So um, there was times where we stayed over for vacations to study. And then, yeah, we had to study a lot. You had to put in more efforts because there were other things that we had to study. Yeah. That's good. That's good. So when students were on VAC, sometimes you, you would be on campus. Yes, please. Yes, so what was your old boys, were they... I mean, contacting you guys and you see the way in St. Augustine's and things like their old students really participate in their trial contest. I mean, their preparation. Were you getting such calls? And yes, please, yes, please. Our Juba president used to visit us a lot wow. to encourage us. Yes, and to give you money. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's one of the motivation because yes, those things will help the teachers and the students. I mean, a highly motivational factor for you to do well. So now let's talk about the semifinals. You met Presek the day before the contest. How was preparation like? The euphoria. How was your camp like and all that? Actually, going into that contest, we were very calm. Yes, because we had gone through a lot. So. For the Pesco game. Yes, <laughs> we were very calm. We expected to win. We expected to win. Yes, because as I said earlier, no one goes into a contest expecting to lose. Yes. And you can see we give, we gave them a tough contest in the first round. And it's the second round that didn't really go in our favor. But we were, we were expecting to win. Yes, please. So you can say Presec are really good in the speed race. Yes, they are very good. They are very good. 
and then were you disappointed yeah i was disappointed i was disappointed because yes i wanted to win i wanted to win i wanted to reach the apex so i was disappointed but oh i'm grateful to god for where he brought us yeah. from everything that happens happens for a purpose now how did you work together with aram uh for you to achieve such great feats together from the original being the original champions for bono and also uh, ending up in the semi-finals in the nationals how was working with aram like oh, it was it wasn't much of a problem because i've known him since we were kids yeah from like 12 years so i know him very well i know his weaknesses yeah i know his moods <laughs> <laughs> yeah so working with him wasn't difficult at all so it was when he was down i was there to support him when i was down he was there to support me so it was very very great very i like great. i like i like this 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 one is a good relationship yes. it's a good friendship yes very good what are some of the i mean events you can remember between you and Aero? <laughs> so um Aram didn't really like it when you touch his stuff without his permission. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I remember one time in the quiz room, someone took his, um, his I think his provisions. The person was hungry. Mm -hmm. And the person took it, and Aram was so mad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and sometimes I had to encourage him. I was like, you know, Aram, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. So, yeah. One personality you look up to for mentorship, and, and why? Okay, this is kind of it's kind of difficult because um, throughout the various stages of my life, I've had a lot of people coming in to help me. I remember from primary, I had Sir Caleb. Sir Caleb, I remember I went for a spelling bee competition, and oh, okay. he helped me. He helped me. I reached the finals. I didn't win. <laughs> <laughs> from the same Saint James? No, 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 no. At that time I was in primary at, oh, okay. at Oasis. Okay. Yeah, and then JHS, I had Sir Chris. Um, in SHS, I had Sir Eric. And there are other people I, I actually look up to, like Vusi Dempakwayo. He's a motivational speaker from South Africa. Oh, okay. And Moses B. Arthur too, he's actually a Ghanaian. And then Senit too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I think over the course of your life, you have a lot of mentors that you've learned from. Yes, please. So did you make some friends during the competition? I mean, apart from your school, did you make some friends from the other schools during the competition? Um, actually, I made a few friends from, um, I think, Notre Dame, okay. Notre Dame girls. Yes, but most of the friends I made were after the competition. Like, I have a few of the quiz boys in my class, which I'm, who I'm really cool with. Yeah. Okay, so, in the medicine class in Kiyan University? Yes. Please. So, who are they? Um, Anderson from Was. <laughs> Tikuni. <laughs> yes, please. Oh, and then Sylvester from St. Augustine. Oh, okay. And Bernard too. Bernard too. Bernard. Bernard Ousu. Mm, yeah, Bernard Ousu. How many yes. How many What big lessons have you learned from the NSMQ competition? I've actually learned a lot from NSMQ. I've learned confidence, a lot about confidence, a lot about composure, a lot of a lot about positive thinking. Because um, when you are sitting on stage and things are not going your way, you you have to find a way to motivate yourself. Because yeah. if you don't take care, your actions can actually affect your partner. Yeah, so I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot, actually. Yeah. What advice would you give to anyone who is aspiring to be an NSMQ student for his or her uh, senior high school? What advice would you give to some students? Okay, I'll, I'll say believe in yourself, do your best and work hard. Because um, even getting into the NSMQ quiz team is not easy. I tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone going to SHS has a passion for NSMQ. So you need to work hard. You need to believe in yourself. You need to believe that you can make it. And even as you are part of the NSMQ team, you have to prove yourself that you are fit to be on stage. Yes. And then after that, on stage two, you also have to prove yourself. You have to win your contest. So it's not easy. Yeah, it shows that life comes in stages. And you must always believe in yourself. Don't give up on yourself. You look at the vision ahead of you and then you can do it so if you look at the vision then you'll be able to work hard towards it you've you've touched you've touched uh, alex you will be a good motivational speaker <laughs> i tell you <laughs> just like the steve jobs and tim crooks uh, for apple you know when they are uh, apple is announcing their products the way they announce the euphoria with it is uh, I, I i i just you've touched me you've touched me you are really good you are really good do you have teachers in St. James Seminary, SHS, and also in, the, in your GHS that has influenced your life a lot, that you want to really thank them for? Okay. So I'd like to thank 
I'll start with Mr. Setre. He was actually an English teacher. Um, he wasn't my class teacher, but he really encouraged me a lot. Um, he motivated me, yes, a lot. He advised me a lot. Then my quiz team teachers, say Eric, Mr. Nala, mm -hmm. say Meshak, Mr. Kumsen, um, Mr. Daniel Wa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they've all really done well. They've done well. And God will crown their efforts. See, all the names you mentioned, God will crown your efforts. Okay, that's good. Your boy is grateful. And you see, anyone who is grateful for things that people do for them, a lot comes their way. Yes, because I mean, Jesus himself said that uh, when he did a lot for a lot of people, for I think 10 people, it's only one person that came back. Yeah, and he felt the way the guy appreciated him. So being grateful and also thanking people who has helped you will send you far in every aspect of your life. So I want you to give a shout out to your, your friends in your SHS, GHS, and also your university now. So shout out to all my friends from Holy Spirit, Augustine, JC, Alexandra. There are many. I can't mention all of them. <laughs> yes. Then my mates from St. James, especially the C1 class. Yeah. Meet SHS a blast. And then I have a few friends here too. Nana Kofi, Nama, Sene. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very much. Oh, and your roomie. Yeah, my roommates to Patrick and um, Christopher. Yeah. <laughs> if you are not mentioned their names like today, they will not cook for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because on campus there, if you have a bad roommate, that one there you suffer. Yeah. But I hope your roommates are good. They are cool. So yeah, I'm grateful to everyone. Um, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. We've come to the fun part of our interview and that is our trivia questions. When we say trivia, we are going to ask the questions that they do aside from NSMQ. So our first question is, what team do you support or what's your favorite football team? Okay, I support the current Champions League winners. I know a lot of people will be like, I'm supporting them because they won. But no, I've been supporting them since JHS2. So yes, I'm a citizen. You don't mean it? Yeah, I'm a citizen. I'm a citizen. Are you sure? I'm very sure. You can ask Iram. I'm very sure. Very sure. So I can say if Ghana's population is uh, 100, he's the only one supporting City. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, oh, there are a lot of people who support City. We are quite many. But but they've really done well, winning the treble. Yeah, right. they've really, really done well. They've really what do you think Pep has really done that has made this team special? Um, Pep has always been a fantastic coach. Looking at his track record and um, the teams he has been to. But I think what has eluded him has been the Champions League. Um, title, yeah. yes, yes, and they were like it was a curse from Arturo, something like that. But this season, he came out to say, Yeah, it's taking away the curse, so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have to raise curse, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The Arturo said something, you are put on the screen. I think he said something that, uh, what, what did he visit? Um, I've actually forgotten, but it was because they were like, Pep is racist, yeah, yeah, but he's actually a very great manager, so it comes as no surprise. So what are your hobbies? Apart from being in the NSMQ, what do you like doing the most? Okay, I play the keyboard. Um, yes. I like reading. Um, I like music, especially live bands. Okay. Yes. They are, they are really good. Do <laughs> you play the, uh, the stuff like, or you play by ear? I play by ear. Okay. Yes. So have you been in a, in a band? Um, I play for my church sometimes. Um, what church? I go to Calvary Charismatic Center, CCC. Okay, CCC. Yes, okay. Then the Joe Metals and Diana Hamilton's, you have to go and play one of their concerts. <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. Okay, so I know you're a City fan, but this one is Messi or Ronaldo debate. Messi or Ronaldo? Obviously, the GOAT is Messi. <laughs> He's the GOAT. Like, there's no two ways about that. He's the GOAT. So now Messi is in Miami. He has gone to Inter Miami. Do you think he has finished football that he has to go there? Or he was afraid to go to Saudi Arabia to meet Cyril Ronaldo? Oh no, I don't think he was afraid to go there. He has always wanted to go to the MLS, so it comes as no surprise. Oh, okay. So yeah, he should follow his dreams. <laughs> yeah. He has done everything that there is to do in football. He has completed football. <laughs> yes, so yeah. <laughs> okay, so your favorite food? Favorite food is Gobe. Gobe. In fact, I ate some at uh, Unity Hall. <laughs> the Gobe, the eh. Those who come to take, uh, go to Unity Hall, their gobe is nice too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I got gobe for as low as 5 CD and plantain as low as 4 CDs. Yeah, it's very, gobe is very, very nice too. And gobe is life. Gobe is life. <laughs> the last question, artificial intelligence or humans, uh, humans for productivity? Okay, I'll go with artificial intelligence. Um, I think that um, one great asset that we have in life is time. So okay. if... 
artificial intelligence helps reduce the time that we need to do something or to achieve a particular task why not and then it helps us because instead i have i now have a lot a lot of access to um, um things that can help me achieve my goals mm -hmm. yes um because of that i can actually go further okay. yeah i've been looking into um robot assisted surgery yes wow. and i've realized that you can use ai to actually reduce the incidents associated with surgery like um the amount of bleeding even the probability that the doctor is going to leave um, a surgical instrument in the body of the patient is going to be very low because okay. you have a, a machine to aid you okay. yes yes so ai is very good it, it's going to help us it has its downsides though but mm. i believe if we focus on the positive sides we can go far that's good, that's good. have you have you heard of the uh, apple new product vision pro yeah, i've heard of it i've heard of it what, what do you what do you think about that artificial intelligence or oh, i think it's a it's a vr equipment what do you think about it i want some <laughs> <laughs> but steve jobs said it's uh three thousand five hundred dollars <laughs> it's a yeah. great it's a great product so we are now moving into the 3d era yeah. so all too soon we've come to the end of our interview but then if you have any question for me let me know how are you <laughs> alexa how am i doing i'm fine is that what you question you want to ask me yes please oh, yes. oh okay okay so before we end what what do you think has really contributed to your success in all in a whole okay i think the singular factor that has contributed to my success is um is god okay. because you see the bible says that um horses are prepared for battle but victory lies in the lord and i believe it strongly sometimes you can prepare so much for something and on that day things just go like they just go sideways yeah so i my faith in god and I believe the word of God has also played a part because um, I had this favorite verse, Second Timothy verse one verse seven. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Second Timothy chapter one verse seven. It says, "We've not been given a spirit of fear, but a of, spirit of sound mind, yes. love, power." Yes, it's my favorite verse. It has really helped me. Anytime I was down, I'll just read this verse and I'll be fine. Before contest, <laughs> yeah. Before I see everything, everything. So my relationship with God has really, really helped me. That's cool. All too soon, we've come to the end of our interview uh, with Alex from St. James Seminary SHS NSMKO 2022. Semi finalist and overall best student for WASI 2022. If you've not hit the subscribe button, kindly hit the subscribe button and like this video and also share it. In fact, Alex, tell them to subscribe. Please, everyone should subscribe. I like the content that he puts in, they are very interesting and very nice. Yeah.